Say that? Okay. I have uh, six uh, twenty-eight, uh, six thirty-eight. <coughs> Welcome our guest tonight. Um, if you would, for the camera, mm -hmm. Ron San San Angelo. So Ron San Angelo, uh, town administrator. administrator. Joe, Joe Buckley, Buck director of public works. Okay. Karina Frohoff, recreation director. Thank you. Okay. Um, minutes. Did you have a chance to look at minutes? Okay. Were there any changes? Uh, there was one typo. I think on the end time of the meeting. Okay. He, he found right, a bunch of right on <laughs> that one. Okay. On the end time? Oh, actually, you know what? I didn't catch that one. I think it was 814. It was 814, yeah. right. So I'll make a motion to accept the minutes from Thursday, September 23rd, with amendments pointed out and the revision to the end time. Okay. Um, second? I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 So, Aye. Aye. Um, Ron had called me uh, and asked if uh, Joe and him could be here. Absolutely, it's an open meeting. And uh, they had some issues they wanted to discuss to let us know what their thinking is in terms of capital improvements going forward. And uh, also, uh, Karina, I guess, came here tonight to talk about her issues going forward from the rec department. Okay. Um, any comments in regards to the meeting so far before I open it up to our guests? <coughs> All set, Joe? All set. Okay. Um, let's take, well, Ron, you uh, brought the two here, so, so why don't you, which one do you want to go first? Or how well, do you I'm going to kind of start to take the lead on a lot of this. They're here mostly to answer more technical questions and stuff. Okay. But, um, Mr. Chairman, I first want to thank you. I appreciate the courtesy of in, in allowing us to come and speak tonight. Uh, you guys and I have been here before you a couple of other times to talk mm -hmm. about issues. And, and uh, you know, one of the things that's important we talked about in previous discussions is facilities management in the buildings. And I've said to my department heads in terms of at least from our priorities that any free cash that we have this year, I really want to prioritize as much as possible on facilities because, quite frankly, our facilities have not been well managed over the years. The maintenance has not occurred and the buildings are deteriorating significantly. And, and these are the prime assets of the town. We have to protect those assets. Uh, as you guys know, uh, not only did I give you kind of a capital improvement plan, we sent you a facilities management plan as well. Uh, in preparing for this, we know that we have a special town meeting on November 18th. So, you know, I haven't got a lot down free cash number, but I can tell you it's going to be significant this year. We're going to have a good amount of money for free cash. With that said, uh, I made it clear to departments that facilities come up front, and there's a few exceptions to what I'm going to be recommending that are not facilities or priorities, but mostly it's sticking to, at least from our administration's perspective, is, is facilities management and improving situations. And what, ha what I did in order to be prepared for tonight's meeting, and, and this is in hope to make your job easier. Uh, at the end of the day, the decision is cl clearly yours on what you recommend for town meeting, but we wanted to give you our logic for what our staff sees as priorities and, and, and not only priorities, in some cases, critical repairs. So I wanted to go through the individual motions and articles with you. I've sent them to you electronically, but I gave you the file and hard copy tonight. I figured you weren't going to have your computers here. You may not have printed them yourself. So I want you did. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I made some, we made some changes to that because there's been a few additional articles around water and sewer that have been added since then. And some of these articles I'm not sure or quite frankly rightly before you because they may not meet the qualifications of the capital item. So we're going to talk about that. But I want to go through those articles one at a time. And again, I don't know how much thought you guys have given to what you would be proposed, but uh, I'm proposing in these articles probably a little over $400,000 of, of articles, okay? Uh, so, if I can just stop yeah, for a second. You, you said about what we've considered, so we haven't really considered anything so far yet. Well, then. Our final draft and consideration usually doesn't happen until around February or March when we put our new year together. When we've evaluated everything okay. that's going well, on. Well, this, this deals with the free cash expenditures for the November town meeting, so this would be something we would be dealing with this November. Okay. I, I, 
understand what, what, what we're talking about. I do know free cash, but uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Joe. We look at free cash as a funding source, but our recommendations in order to use whatever services are available usually come later on. Now, doesn't mean we can't have uh, a vote or a discussion for the November meeting coming up, but overall, we would look at how everything fits into even our recommendations. Okay. Sure. So let's talk about and see what you guys think in, in, okay. in terms of that. Look, okay. the bulk of these come out of the evaluation completed by the folks we had come through and do the look at all the buildings. The facility so most of it is stuff they identified as just emergencies. You've got to fix a roof here, you've got to fix some electrical stuff here. If you yeah. don't, you're going to cause the buildings to further degrade. So that's there's, absolutely understand. There's hundreds of thousands of dollars in that report to review and stuff we're going to come back okay. with next spring. Right. The bulk of this is stuff they said, you know what, you got to go move now. So, okay. so then, that's all come. There's a whole bunch of meetings on the warrant, a bunch of articles on the warrant, but what I did is I gave you the articles that really directly about you guys. That's okay. what I did, okay? So let's first focus on Article 9. And I dra these articles are drafted with explanations so you guys could really easily understand this. So we've been having major problems with the pull house. Underneath the pull house, it looks like the sewers, the sewer pipes are crashing in on themselves almost. Yeah, it's they're going into the ground. Where, what's the, well, how would you describe it? It's supposed to Collapsing. go like this. It's supposed to go straight, but it's suck. It goes like this. So it, instead of going straight, it kind of sunk into the ground. So what it means is that the sewers are backing it's up with the pull Okay. How how long has that been there, Joe? How long? So do you know I think it's been slowly failing over a couple of years. I mean, when was that pool house, the sewer system put in? I don't know. Jesus, years and years ago, probably. 20 years I ago? I want to say at least 20 years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I guess my first question, if I may, do most systems fail in 20 years? No. It's probably construction related. And we have no recourse for that. It was point. donated. I think it was donated. Yeah. Oh, so <laughs> I don't remember that. So, okay. Yeah. All right. So, go. thank you. So, anyway, the issue to that is just so we're clear, the sewer system is. What happens is the pipe under the building is um, sagged in such a way that it collects solids and it blocks regularly. Yeah. Okay. So, um, they'll will free it and they'll be able to use it for an hour or two. It, it has to be, and I brought in a, a firm to evaluate it. They TV'd the whole run, and they said, yeah, it's got, you've got to jackhammer the floor, remove the whole pipe, and put a new one in. Um, that's the only way to make this go away. So would you describe that as a safety issue? And a public, public health, health issue. A public health issue, yeah. okay. That's why it's critical that it gets done right now. Um, okay. So we've been estimate, the estimate we have on that, uh, and this is, is this partially from the facilities management plan or is this your estimate? This is all us. Okay, so this is an estimate from Joe. And does this have you doing some of the work, Joe? This, yeah, we have, um, the, I don't know what you put down. 35. Okay, the estimate we got from the plumber was 27, but that's just the pipe. So that doesn't include jack hammering the floor or replacing the concrete. So that's what the extra money's for. Okay. So the estimate for that, and, and we believe it's a pretty good, accurate estimate, is thirty-five thousand dollars to fix that problem. And that's the the first article I wrote for you. If you wanted to support it, that would be the article. Okay. Can I ask you? Can we, is sure. there any other main issues at the pool house? Yes. We've talked about yes. the foundation for the pool itself, right? <clears throat> the concrete there. Um. Yeah, I think due to age, some of the pool deck itself is so. in need of repair, settling in places, sidewalks and stuff okay. like that. I'm cracking that seam at the Yeah, cracking. Yeah. We've had to kind of patch things future together stuff, in places. Joe? I'm sorry? Future? Future. This Two is years, three years. Well, well this, is, so this is an imminent public health hazard. You can't open the pool without safe facility, functioning okay. facilities. Right. It's just that simple. Okay. So the answer is yes, we're going to have to address it okay. soon, but not immediately. The, yeah, the plumbing would have to be done before spring water for us to open. So. so. The, the pool is officially closed. Um, yes, yeah, we closed like the end of the No summer. use not until the spring. Correct. Would you want to go in it? <laughs> it's a little chilly. <laughs> well, that's why Joe wants to do the work during no, the winter. No, 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 right. that's not my point. My point is, is that it is a public health issue. I just want to make sure there was no other organizations or outside sources using that pool no. for any reason. It's no. a good question. The water gets shut off to the building in the okay. winter time because it's not winter. Okay. So. Okay. Just one question. Are we considering this general free cash or sewer free cash? This is general free cash in this one. Okay. 
And again, everything I'm giving you here, we can do in free cash, just to let you know what I'm proposing, okay? Um, so that's Article 9, and again, as we go through these, you can do them all at the end, or if you want to support them in the beginning, you can, but that's the first article. Okay. Article 10, Capital Improvement, again, I put sponsored by the Capital Improvement Committee if you wanted to do this. Vote to transfer some of money for free cash for the purpose of replacing the roof on the community center building or take any action there too. So according to the facility management report, the, the useful life of that roof ends in three years, but the roof is already leaking. It had repairs long ago. There's water problems already. The roof is shot. It's going to take us a while to get a contractor on there, but it's, it, now's the time to replace that roof. We don't want water to get any more into the building and damage the structure of the building itself. So. Uh, that this comes directly out of the facilities management report and okay. it says that we need to deal with this the last repair was done in 1998 and our estimate for that is ninety thousand dollars that uh, the estimate i think out of the facilities management plan was 72 grand something and we bumped it up a little bit for engineering costs and to make sure that we had enough money to do the project so two things that came out of the facilities management plan one they said that you need to hire an engineer to do the roof design for that facility a and b we took that piece of the facilities management and we sent it to time bond engineers so they could give us a rough estimate as to what it would cost to design and put that up. Okay, so that's where that number comes that's from. That's design and repair, right? Yeah. Design and repair, correct. No, design and replace. Yeah, uh, yeah design yeah, replace. is replacing the roof, not repairing the roof. Oh, sorry. Design and replace. And so what are we replacing it with? Um, whatever the, well, probably okay. architectural shingles. Okay. It depends on the slopes. I'm not a roofing engineer. Oh, but the shingles already there. I've never looked at. Yeah, it's a shingle. Yeah, it's had two coats of shingles, so it's got to be replaced. Oh yeah. Okay. So, that was originally a, a church, church or something. Yeah. 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 So it really it wasn't really designed for the use of it. it. It's, and again, you know, our big issue on all these buildings is try to protect it. But right now, I'm talking about things that protect structure. Yeah. We eventually have to replace the siding on that building, and windows are shot in that building, but. We need to fix the roof before we do other repairs. Okay. That's why we're using a common sense approach to okay. that that building. Okay. Just one question. Then. Sure. Sure. Um, uh, and I didn't cross reference this to the, the full report, Ron, but the the immediate repair uh, yep. document provided for the community center. I didn't even see the roof listed yep. here. That's good. It's in the it's in the the uh, next slide that would be in that. So here's the facility management plan. Provided with me for just this purpose. So we're looking at uh, Community Center 163, and you want to look at the, the charts at the end of it. So you're looking at, and I said it, it's projected as a three-year replacement in the third year, and I wouldn't be considering it, and I'd probably wait another year if it wasn't for the fact that it's a leak. Mm -hmm. You don't, you don't have to dig yeah, through, because I can dig so it would be in here. Oh, it's on the That's second. The okay. it's the same. Gotcha. This is immediate repairs. This is throughout the 10 years. And this, I believe, is in the third year of the 10 year plan. That's when the roof it gets done. So, question why would this rate ahead of some of the more immediate well, Because the roof is already leaking. And because of the leak. Yeah, yeah, because it's already deteriorating. And, and as you know, the roof is, it protects the whole structure. So, yeah, okay. other things are, are important, but this is let's protect the structure. The next thing I'm going to be coming to talk to you about windows and siding. And, but let's get the outside of the building constructed. The interior work, like they're already fixing the kitchen inside, they're doing some interior. Yeah, right. I actually had a meeting of the committee. You remember that the board of selectmen actually had a meeting, a vote to take like 35 grand and do a study about building a new building. Yes. Right. I've got them to agree that probably at the next town meeting, not the one coming up, the next one, we're going to take that money out instead of using it for repairs because we're never going to get the money to fund a, a new senior building. Right. So eventually we're going to take that money out and we might use it for siding or some other purpose. But they've already voted to agree with me, the committee, that the board set up to move down that path. Okay. Ron, are these various articles yeah. listed in order of priority or? These are listed in the way I put them on the warrant. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but, just... but, but these were these were the result of me and Joe going through them. Yep. And I tried to bundle them by department, Mark. Okay. So the articles, so right. like a lot of the public work ones tend to try to be together, but there's no there's no priority to this. They're all priorities. All of these <laughs> priorities. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay, just okay. throwing that out. Part of the number 11, as you recall, the roof was roof fixed a year or two ago. They did a lot of the roofing work at the uh, library. And I've been struggling with what they call them, but there's outshoots of roofs where there's electrical wires and a trade wires that are all defective and falling apart. And it's they basically more hard and truck. No, they look they like widow's walks or cupolas on yeah. top of those roofs right. to house yeah. um, utilities like the air handlers and mm -hmm. the heating units. 
Um, the structure and flashing associated that with that was a design flaw. And that caused, even though they put a new roof on, it caused it to leak. So a couple years back, we brought in Weston Samson, we had that evaluated, and they identified the design flaw and came up with a preliminary design. That's what that is. Which is, again, it's, it's all I about... I think you had that. I don't know why. You, no, I remember about two years ago, that we, study. Did, we started doing yeah. that, looking at that and seeing it. It was like just studying yeah. Scott. So that's what that is. From and there were pictures, and then it, yeah. Weston yeah. Samson. I've Weston Samson did the study. Yeah, I've seen that report. What? If I can joke, 75 grand to me seems like a lot of money for those, what I think are three things on the top of the roof there. So that's, 90, back to you. that's 90 grand. That one, just so you know, that's so 90 grand for that one, just to be clear. We did that. have this, Joe, you're right. right. Roof repair is 75. No, I'm sorry, you're right, 75. I'm looking the at the community center was 90. I'm sorry, you're right, 75. Yeah. So, in our report that was submitted in February, um, this, this was actually an item on it, and it was entitled Library Heating HVAC. Um, unit structural integrity repairs. So the question I have is, is I believe 25k was appropriated at the annual for that because that, that's the amount that we approved that in our um, in our report in February. So I could have missed that. Yes, yeah, so we probably want to make sure you may already have 25 towards the 75 total that you want to dig up out of the house. We need to find out because yeah. that's important. Because that one doesn't ring a bell. I don't ring a bell. They, and it may not be you or us. A lot of times, um, the last couple of meet town, annual time meetings, the, the articles got really stripped out. At least the, and it could be. I just no. Well, I just want to. Yeah. Out. So it, it's just something worth checking because I absolutely. know we approved it at a twenty five thousand dollar level. I don't. Where I'm fuzzy is whether it got appropriated or so not. I kind of think I'll it be, did. I'll but. be frank with you. I I called Weston Sampson. I said, "You remember the report you did? Yep, yep. We have a copy of the report." I said, "I need a copy of." I need an estimate as to what it would cost to design, hire somebody, and do the work. And that's what that number is. I can get you a copy of that. So, yeah, if you wanted to go, that's it. You have, did you think you voted it? We voted it. Oh, good. We definitely voted it at 25K. So, we can the vote, question we is voted did, for one of it. Right. For 20, yeah. It's, the question is, did it. Oh, no, that's the, I bet you that's the heater. No, that was separate. That's separate. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was a separate 20724 right. for that. So you may, if, if, again, I don't know what you guys are going to do, but if you consider moving this motion along for the meeting, then you guys could say up to 75000 If 25000 has been appropriated, that'll be used, or, you know, and we'll make it work. But you guys can do whatever you think is yeah, appropriate. Yeah. All right. Um, so that's the latter one. Right now, again, these articles are in my warrant right now. I'm going to take them off or put them on. and leave them on depending upon what you guys do. But that's just the way I developed it. I guess so, the same question might come up on this one then. If yeah. this is a design failure, is there any recourse available there? So how many years ago was that done? That, that, that's the original building design. That's it. Yeah. Uh, that's the that original was, building. Was, I want a 97, 98 oh, yes. time frame. And if, if I'm not mistaken, I think we tried to go after the builder recourse yeah. once or twice before. That would be I so long that. ago, there's no yeah, way. It was, it was a design problem. The builder wasn't even responsible, right. if I remember right. that. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's Article 11 in the way of the description. Article 12, to see if the town will vote for free cash for replacing three rooftop gas fires, fire heaters, AHU, HU units. So you may recall, and you may have heard, I don't know if it even came to you, but there, one of the units failed, the heating units failed, and they used CARES money yes. to do it because they were trying to keep the facility open for a thing. Right. But two of the units now are also dead, and the other one's still alive. But in order to replace these, you literally have to put a, get a crane, go up there and replace these units. So two of them have died already because they've met their useful life. The third one's met its useful life, but still running. Mm -hmm. But if we're going to do this, we might as well be at the crane there. We want to just replace all three of them and get them done. Mm -hmm. So what what happened to the one that got replaced through the the fuel? It's fine. There's more. There's four or five. There's four, oh, there's four or five. Okay, I thought there's three. three total. Ones, no, okay. the, this is just yeah. for the this ones is on the roof. The ones on the roof. The other one was in the basement. Well, these. Yeah, there's two in the basement. Were these like twenty five each or something? Twenty something thousand. Oh, yeah. So we Peace. put in for this. We put in ninety thousand. So there was. No, actually, they went up price. That's what she told us. They, they, went, they started off at 22000 so, $22, something. But she got a new estimate, and I gave you that estimate in an email, mm -hmm. but it's now over $30,000 a unit. So we put in 90 grand. Right? So you should have that units. estimate yeah, for three for three units. Units. Well, the thought process is we have one that was actually leaking natural gas. So that one took, took out of, got taken out of service. And another one that was um, close to beyond repair, but we were able to get to work towards the end of the season. 
And the, the third one is original to the building. So if we're going to get a crane in, we're going to do all. And you, but you are right, it was $27,000, a real original estimate, because Carrie was bitching to me about how it went up by 10 grand, and I guess that has to do with the construction costs of what's changed in the, well, you can't the get construction market right, right now. So that's why it went up. So. Crazy. So yeah, that's the other one I would caution the estimate on that. Um, Massachusetts 30B, these have to go off a bit. These numbers aren't hard and fast. Yeah, yeah. All this stuff has to go off. And truthfully, we're trying to make them a little bit high because you know we can't go to bid and have it be not enough. I'd rather kick the money back and have it go back to the town than have a bid that's too low and now we're screwed. Really? We can't do them. So. Ron, help me understand. Yep. It has been my understanding in the past that when you set aside money for a specific purpose, it can't be used for anything Correct. else. Correct. So how does it go back to the So if there's five thousand dollars account. At the end of the project, Todd sweeps the money and puts it back into our revenue account. You, you close out though. No, you close out. Oh, so it doesn't have the space for that. No, so it, it's an article. Like article our it's closed. Loans or like our, when we borrow money for buildings or something, an account that has to stay there. Remember, we did. I forget what it was. We had like thirty thousand dollars set aside, and we couldn't. Oh, if you bar, if you're talking about if you did a borrowing and you actually got the money for it. Yeah, yeah that's special. That's a different. Yeah. That's, a, okay. yeah, that's a different deal because okay. you have the money if you use the same purpose and every other loan right. concept. But right. this is not like this. So this is at the end of the projects. Once the projects are completed, we let Todd, Todd know and Todd sweeps it out. Mm -hmm. okay. right. So we effectively would fall into free cash. Right. Is what we do. Put your email there. Okay. And I will forward you. Um, the next two are. Public oh, safety yeah. issues. Well, I just got uh, Article 13, as I describe it, to see if the town will vote for free cash for the purpose of repairing yeah, a fire alarm and sprinkler right. system within town hall buildings. So this is from the fire chief. Uh, it turns out the sprinkler system is starting to fail. The alarm system is starting to fail. So he they conducted an annual safety inspection. They found out it had to be taken care of. This is an emergency repair replacement. We got to get it fixed before it completely fails. It's required by law. So does the people, do the uh, fire department take care of it? This is the fire department that did they will install and do all that stuff. No, I think they're going. I don't think they install. It. I think they probably have to have a company that does this. But did I don't, we I don't vote on the, the library last year. Yeah. This is this is all the buildings. So I didn't. Todd, you didn't say we specifically had an article for the library. Well, how much is the it? fire system? And Seth yeah. came in and spoke to us about that last yeah. year. Yeah, this is only twelve. So this is only twelve thousand nine hundred eight. Yeah. So it's maybe that's not included in there. But this right. is all okay. general coverage. Well, that, that, it's possible that was done. I don't know. It was. It should have been. It was, that was. It was actually in twenty twenty. Yeah. And yeah, I believe that fourteen thousand three fifty was appropriated for it, for right. the library yeah. because it couldn't be serviced anymore without absorbing right. So, so that I just was checking that this wasn't including the library. Yeah, I mean, yeah. the yeah. chief would have known. No, that, they so just, I don't think they just finished the inspections. We would have to know which buildings that's for. What's that? They just finished the inspections a month ago. For. The, after conducting our annual safety inspections, several issues were need to be addressed. That so they went to fund a private library. Well, this is library. across the board. Oh, oh, yeah. okay. So what he's saying is, because this inspection was just done, there wouldn't be a problem with the library if they're new. So we're right. Right. Just, no. okay. Explanation: After conducting our annual safety inspection, several issues need to be addressed: replacement of cellular transmitters (LTG5) and repairs to sprinkler system to comply with yes. NFPA 13. These inspections were literally done a month ago. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And these are to comply with state code. Yeah. Fire code. Okay. Fire okay. okay. code. So could we just ask him just as a quick follow-up, which buildings this right. encompasses? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like um, the LTEG5, that, that is a transmitter that would affect all buildings. I don't think that's necessarily one, but the repairs to the sprinkler system could be one individual building. Okay. And we can ask the chief those. Okay, that's 12,908.55 on your sheet. Yeah. Uh, okay, this next one should be an easy one. Next one to see the town vote for free cash uh, to match to, for a matching portion of a federal assistance firefighter grant for the purchase of a new ambulance. So we got a three hundred thousand dollars federal yeah, grant, I, I, and I we have to put in five percent. So I believe yeah, we yeah, approved that last meeting. It's not; it has, it has to be on the annual warrant. So it's no, but I'm saying they're approved for recommendation to the, this for the last, town meeting. meeting of this group last. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. Last, yeah. Last, yeah. Last, we already put some things on we this. Voted on that. Seth gave us a good presentation right. on that. So, yeah. would you voted to add it to the annual time, yes. the special time in? Uh, no, we, yeah. we just made it our recommendation 
that would go on to the I don't global think reports. The area. I, I, maybe you discussed it. I don't know that those. I mean, we have the minutes right I now. Know. I'm not sure we voted on anything. There's no vote taken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you want to vote. These All are right. articles you're voting to put on the Tommy and Warren. Okay. okay. Seth gave us a pretty good presentation on that and combining with OCAM and, yeah, this is, and all this that. Is, yeah, you can, you can, actually, this is not going to come from free cash. I apologize. This is going to come from. Rates. Mostly a grant. 95 no, yeah, grants. The, 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 the money he's asking is not going to come from free cash. This is raising appropriate because he's getting money. It wasn't included in the budget from OCAM for the services. No. So this is the only one that's a raise and appropriate where the other ones are offered cash. Right. We have to come up with 5% of the 300000 Yeah, it's um, with town funding. 14,000 to 8571. Right. I think I had that number. number on there. Where's the number raised from? The minutes okay. from the last the month, budget. I think. No, that's going to yeah. come from just general revenues, raise and appropriate. So it's just going to be raise and appropriation. So that means it's going to be part of the tax rate, is what he's with that now. Oh, so I know what it means. I'm just wondering, okay, if it's coming from. Yeah, we, coming we didn't vote on anything. Revenues, right? That was in the minutes from last month. Oh, we did. We discussed it a lot. We discussed yeah, it. He gave us the figures and everything. Okay. Right. We discussed it, and I think we were comfortable with it. I mean, the yeah. only, Ron, the only thing I'm hung up on is how, how you're raising appropriate when the tax rate's already been set. Hasn't been set. Tax rate's not set yet. What fiscal year are you. This coming this, this, this fiscal year, they're going to set the tax rate right, I think, after her. Just after the time meeting, they're going to set the tax rate. Okay. Okay. Um, so, item 15. And again, these articles don't have any monies. That's why I gave you the corresponding chart of the monies in it. Uh, this one I don't think you have to vote on. I don't on. think this is us. Article 15 is a lease payment. Yeah. You don't have to vote on it. I just, because it's a capital improvement item, I just wanted you to know. I'm going to change that from capital improvement to finance committee. Yeah. Okay. Okay, because that's a that's a that's a um, annual expense. It's right. not that's not a capital expense. I did want you to know just so you knew the car was there, but you probably would have been told last year anyway. Right. The next one is technology. Again, I don't think it's yours, but it's the vote to transfer money to do a, a license on Meraki, which is one of our systems. So yeah. you don't need to do that either. So that yeah. sets finance committee. Okay. Article seventeen. Uh, this is to see if the town vote to transfer money for free cash to purchase a new s snow plow assembly. And truthfully, that money might fall underneath. That wouldn't be outside. Yeah, that's, that's not that's outside. Right. That's yeah. 9000 so I don't think you have to worry that's about not that. Us. No. So, um, and if it means anything, it's on the capital list we sent you. Yeah. Well, actually, I, actually I think I did see it there. But, yeah, with, but that's, I was going to ask Joe. So we approved, um, this is how it's worded, DPW yeah. new plows, um, one 11 foot snow plow. Um, this covers two plows and one large and one small. We we, we approved ten thousand four seventy four for new right. plows in our is February. Two plows. Is this over and above those? No, nope. that's the same. This thing. is just the okay. actually everything's gone up. Yeah. This is a quote from two weeks ago for one large plow. Okay, yeah. but it, so again, my question becomes is just double checking. Has yeah, it it's not appropriate. It, yeah, it, <laughs> it's what's it's not over and above. So this just make sure it hasn't already been appropriated been. that may. Okay. Okay. So this next one, I don't think you have to vote either, but I really want, I guess I much want you to, only because I want people to understand what we have to do here. So if you look at the immediate repairs report, which is what you were talking about, Joe, for each department there's an immediate repair sheet. Every department describes plumbing, um, electrical, and uh, landscaping issues for immediate repairs. And we weren't going to start having separate articles for each department, each thing. So Joe and I talked about allocating $50,000 from free cash to fix all these immediate repairs with regard to the electrical and plumbing and everything, okay? Now, because this really should be an annual expense, it really should be a capital expense because it's repairs. But, you know, this is what I talked to you about. You know, there's been a real failure on the town not maintaining the buildings. So I don't know if you want to vote. I don't think you have to vote, but I sort of kind of like the concept of the capital improvement committee saying, hey guys, Finance Committee, you should put this in your regular budget. We're going to support this and push this, but this really should not be a cap line. This should be an annual maintenance item. Uh, so you don't have to vote on this. I think that I just want you guys to be part of this whole taking care of facilities long term. You know, I mean, I want you to be part of that discussion because I think it's important. So it's up to you what you want to do there. I don't know. Do you think that this is a capital improvement thing? Uh, because it's I don't think, yeah, according to our language, it falls under our, our committee. That's what I didn't think so either. Right. And I, like I said, this is more of me of a message to the town is that this is, we've got to do this stuff. We just yeah. can't let the building no. deteriorate. Do you mind if I No, you can do whatever you want. I'm, I'm just kind of leaving the show. A couple quick things. 
Yep. If you read that report, the report says we should have full time staff doing building maintenance. Yes. Anyway, yes. Three full time people, as much as three full time people. Uh, a year ago, we had one person doing 10 hours doing 10 of hours. work <coughs> to maintain the buildings. A and week or a whole ten year? A week. Okay. Annually, um, and ap after this most recent budget, it's zero funded. It's, and you're going to, there's a, I just want to say this once, using the one-time dollars to do stuff that should be paid for with O&M is a poor decision in my mind, but... It's a cascading effect. Okay, this is that. So this is just uh, <coughs> meant to um, cover that gap. We, ha we have to do this. We just can't continue to let the plumbing line drop fall apart, so... It, it uh, was, if it was a year of anyway or not, I, I, I think we have to move it forward, but... So the, the water's going to cover the whole town for these issues. Yeah. Out of town buildings, yes. Okay. If you read the report, there were silly things. Change a, an outlet here, change a light switch here, um, make sure that you go through the buildings and open and close all the valves and update any, you know, failed plumbing valves so that if you do get a leak, you know, at least someone's looked at it. They, they're not heavy lifting stuff by any means, but when you compile yeah. it across the whole entire town, that's where that number of 50 comes So from. we would leave that 50 grand and use it as needed and it could last more than a year. I mean, we could just keep fixing stuff on this account as the concept so the the only question i have is the landscaping that's not a cheap item so it isn't right so why is that included not separated out if maybe it's more than ten thousand i know it's a maintenance well, issue the, the big up. issue is it's not really landscaping for the whole building it's landscaping to keep things away from the building Cut away so from the cutting building. away from the building so where does it come into the basement or into oh, the building okay so it's just to kind of clear it's not landscaping of the whole okay. building it's this is more protective building type landscaping by cutting away from the building a few feet away from the building. That's what this is. Okay. It's more maintenance to the building than it is making okay. it. Okay. So I assumed it was like trying to re landscape no. the town or something no. like that. No. And, and every year, okay. Now this is repair to keep because because a lot of the report talks about bushes being right up against the buildings. And yeah. It's, stuff it's, like that. We need just to clear it out for, to do things. Very, it's okay. true in a lot of buildings. The town. If you look at my building, they had. The, what they call that crap that was under the windows, I had to think of the whole building was covered through the, the things, like the, the pants were coming, yeah, they were right. coming through the windows of my office. I mean, yeah. it's just, that, but obviously not good for the building. At this point, we have a zero fund uh, on the operating <coughs> side. We do not fund building and, buildings and grounds payments. We do not fund parks or forestry. We do not fund cemeteries. The only thing we're currently funding really is road maintenance. So, so, uh, so Joe, if, if we do this one time shot, 50 grand, Personally, and you would think going forward, what would be an annual amount of maintenance? Are we looking at fifty grand a year? In February um, I would think something along those lines. Okay. But that would be an operating cost. Yeah. You, you, you really should apply at least one full-time staff, if not two, um, to start to knock some of these tasks down. Sure. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it yeah, fits fifty thousand, because I never that saw that number. Right? That right? does that's sense. That's material cost. You think that's the so money for the. Um, yes, and well, anything on that list has to be paid pay the real wage. Which one was that? The right. Yeah. So you're looking at be maybe 100000 or more and you include everything else. Yes, yeah. we're going to go as far as we can and knock out yeah. the big yeah. stuff they've identified. Yeah. It's gone, it's gone. Heating. But heating. Okay. Because okay. 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 I think this one here. Was so how many years was it been? So you really guys right? attached to How many years has it been since we really did it? I don't know. I want to say five, six anyways. Okay. I'm sure in, in this last go around, we took a nasty hit with that. So. Can you can you email me that? Mm -hmm. Put we'll just so I can look it up and have. We do what we can, but we do it on you know after hours or on weekends yeah. at this point. So, so you guys can decide if you where you want to do with that one. But the next one is Article Twenty Four. This one we do not believe you have to vote on, but it basically deals with the um, sewer department, the enterprise fund. And it's paying uh, for a risk and reliance assessment. So it's really paying for sort of a study. So we don't believe that's yours either, but I wanted you to know about it, so I put it on. Okay. Um, that is late. That is a federal requirement. <coughs> um, we already heard from DEP. They reminded us that we have to get that done, and if we don't get it done, we could get fined. <laughs> the next one, article. Oh, oh, sorry, when you say technical in nature, you're not talking about the physical attributes of doing this are you because that would fall under our committee i'm trying to uh, no they have to you, you're going to hire some scientists and engineers they're going to come okay. in and evaluate the, the reservoir and the system and they're basically looking for potential risks that could cause that 
would limit our ability to produce water. It's a generic document that all water systems across uh, the country. It's a sanitary survey? It's not a sanitary survey. It's a little bit more. It, it, you know what it comes out of? Um, what was the committee where they everyone got sick from the water? <laughs> no, no the, the one in, the, in uh, out near Chicago. What the heck was it? Oh. So this grew, this grew out of the, um, mm -hmm. after that community, the federal government took action and this, this law was written in 2013. And that's what this okay. comes out of. It's like a sanitary survey, but it more goes after risks. Okay. Okay. Okay, Article 25 is, we got a grant for the is using free oh, really? cash for development of a written drought management plan. Again, we don't believe that's you, but we wanted to let you know mm -hmm. what's going on. Okay. Uh, drought management plan. Okay. Article 26. Do you have any Thick questions issue. on the drought management plan? We signed a consent order with Nasty EP and they said we have to have one, so we have to have one. Yeah, well, that's a court order. That's, yeah, I understand that. All right. I worked in the water department of Worcester for years. Article number 26 that was also could be you guys. This is one of the things that it's uh, using money from certified discipline, using money for retained earnings, which essentially is sewer free cash, water sewer free cash. But the Miles Road uh, sewer pump station is to replace the pumps there, and that amount is 27500 So I don't know. Do you, you guys typically vote for sewer improvements in Porter yeah. Sewer? Mm -hmm. So this one I think is yours. Okay. I'm running the station on one pump. I've got one in the shop to be rebuilt, and the one that's in there right now is a rebuilt one. So I got a quote for a new one, which was 21.5 from Kansas. It'll probably take, I don't know, 18 weeks to get here. I was going to say it's going to take a while. And um, the one that we have in the shop right now, we don't have a number yet. I took 26% of the cost of a new one, and that's where that other number comes from. So our goal is to have three, one on the shelf rebuilt, ready to go at any one time. It's now become the heaviest volume station we have. So, okay, so you're saying you need the capacity of that pump requires, I mean, the capacity of that facility requires three pumps? Two. <clears throat> two pumps. The problem is if you, if one fails, you can technically run it on one, but if you get, if it's really wet out or everybody's home on Sunday morning, you're pushing that to the limit. Um, so ideally you should have a third one to throw we'll back in. Right back you send it out to be rebuilt. Yep. So. We need two to run it. Okay. Are you, you can barely li get, you can live by on one, but it requires a lot of finesse. So you envision running it with the new, if the new one works out, you envision running it with a new one and one rebuilt one, yeah. and then one rebuilt one, like just sitting ready to go. Ready to go. Because right. you can't get them. Yeah. You said something if it rains a lot. Do we have a lot of inflow problems on that line? Mm -hmm. We don't. Well, I do think we have some. I can't quantify that. We have bigger fish to fry on the II problem. Yeah. Sure. yeah. Those have been identified and we've got the funding ready to go for that. Okay. We got Article 27 here. I don't think it's really yours either. But again, it's one of the things where I just want to keep you informed of what's going on. So you may have been aware of it. We lost all our entire staff of our water treatment facility. Literally everybody left. Mm -hmm. So we had to bring in West and Sampson to run the facility for some time. And as part of that, we're trying to upgrade that facility and we've been using uh, some money from from borrowing to do that, but that facility needs to be upgraded. Um, and eventually, what they're trying to do is to right now we have to man it seven days a week, trying to set it up in such a way that it won't have to be manned seven days a week. So, this is basically to use um, $125,000 to continue in a general way of upgrading that thing. So, in theory, could be some capital items in that upgrading. So, I guess in theory, it could be under you, but you know. That's all being a result of a Western and Samson study and what they're doing, right? They're doing it all those designs. Okay. <clears throat> How does that work? So when we lost all the staff, we couldn't get anybody to run the plan. We basically hired the engineers to run the plan and start doing the upgrades at the same time. Yeah. So therefore, considering it an engineering project, which I called the um, office of the inspector general, they were okay with it. We had to scramble. Um, that cost of that project is around three hundred and sixty-five thousand dollars. That covered roughly three months of operating staff and maybe a hundred thousand dollars in upgrades. Um, most of the facility is original to ninety-five, uh, ninety-six, ninety-seven. Um, 
and stuff we've been picking at is controllers and analyzing equipment and, and the like. Um, Didn't we just replace the tanks then? That wasn't what was killing us. The mm. tanks are okay. Mm. It's uh, <coughs> it's stupid things like chlorine analyzers and, and pH analyzers. Yeah. Like, okay. I was there when they replaced the PN, pH analyzer. Mm. It's original to the building. <coughs> You're supposed to do those every five years. So it's little things like that. There were no standard operating procedures written out. Yeah. Um, so that's where a lot of the engineering is. Why did we lose our staff? <coughs> Retirements? One or? gentleman passed away. Yeah. He, he had been here since the plant first went online. The second person took a foreman's position um, out of town, which was a significant promotion. And the third person took an <coughs> engineering slash management position out of town. And that person had 20 years in. Yeah. And so what's happened is because it's surface water, or we have a surface water supply, yeah. T2 and T3 licenses are, right. are very we, hard to get. We had one in there and he left. And right? yes. yes, so we have since <coughs> we hired three people. Um, two of which have grade twos or better. Mm -hmm. um, we still have Wesley Samson trying to get the plant up to spec and make sure we meet everything that's you know, um, required by the state and the Fed. And we put this money aside in case as a, into the reserve. It doesn't go just directed to that project. It's in the water <coughs> reserve because we don't know where we're at yet, but we didn't want to lose pace. Really? I did a walk through of that a few years ago with your yeah. processor and uh, the, the guy who was the license operator there <coughs> impressed me, but obviously he's the one who took another position somewhere or something, right? Yeah. Um, but we've got three mm -hmm. new folks and... Mm -hmm. um, Congratulations on hiring somebody. So it's not easy, believe it. Yeah. yeah. Um, with the upgrades, I get the water report when I have a kid. Okay. When, and I look at some of the stuff, some is, you know, everything is okay. But some things are equal to what they're not better. So with the upgrades, does that make that report a little bit better on some of the? I honestly don't think so. Okay. What what you're going to see is um, so when we first got we first hired people to come in and run the plant as a contract operator, they came in and they said we we're going to need a month to shadow somebody who's here because what had happened was you had people who had been there for 20 years and they had done things in such a fashion that this is always always the way we've done it. So you brought in somebody from, like some operators to run Rutland's plant over the last couple of months have come from as far as Methuen and North Andover and they're running state-of-the-art stuff. They walk into Rutland and said, I can't test water with that. You know, you had to, you know, it's not so, it, that was the stuff we were stuck on. The analyzing equipment and the controls <coughs> is where we got bit. Okay. So okay. We, re we hired a specialist to write the standard operating procedures, we updated the analyzers, and we're in the process of updating the controls. Okay. So basically what it'll cut is you'll have a, a plant that meets current <coughs> standards, but I don't think it's going to change your quality. I don't think anybody has an issue with good quality water. Yeah, right. You know, and, Pretty what important, takes, yeah. and what it takes to get there and keep stay there. And I can't understate that over the last four or five months when we call or to talk to anyone at the Commonwealth either for purchasing or <coughs> compliance or DEP, this is referred to as Rutland's water emergency. It's not it's not referred to as some um, hey, you know, can you it's no, it's our emergency. Yeah. And we're on the back side of it and turned a corner, so Okay. Good. So Harry, to go back to your your comment at the very beginning of this, and you talked about you know, February recommendations. And quite frankly, I think where we, at least from my point of view, take and pay it for what it's worth, is one of the things I talked about is we need a, a bigger plan than our five-year capital plan. We need a bond, a borrowing, to fix some of these big repairs. And you remember I told you guys, one of the big repairs is the parking lots, some of the parking lots, and even the school wants to put in money to redo their parking lots, which could be over a million dollars too, right? Mm -hmm. that was like, just to let you know, Kim Ferguson called me up two days ago and said, Mm -hmm. Hey, we met Kim Ferguson, the state rep. Yeah. She called me up today and she says, Ryan, do you have anything you need for infrastructure? Uh, we have this state ARPA bill where there's billions of dollars in it, and we were told to get our wish list into them for what they want for capital improvement projects for towns. So I called up Joe and said, I need it by tomorrow. That was, that was the request. So I called up Joe and said, Joe, 
you know, to me, the quickest thing to do is to figure out what would it cost to do the parking lots for, the, and it's for town side of government, not schools. Yeah. So what's the quickest thing we could put together some numbers to give the kid that really what we need? And we came up with the the repaving and refixing all of our parking lots town side. So okay. please buy our building. And I put in a request <coughs> with the state to give us like a million two something to try to fix those all our parking lots. And I don't know if it's going to come through, but it's possible given what they're doing because they got billions of dollars they might do and yeah. it depends upon how they divide it all out. So maybe we have a shot at it. But but what I think is important for you guys, again, it's your, you guys to say what you're going to do is we need to work together to figure out what our bond package is going to be. So looking at the facility management plan, looking at the school needs, we need to come up with a, a package of borrowing. And the reason why it's important is because some of our borrowing that exists is tapering off. And we want to add new borrowing before that old borrowing falls off and time it in such a way as it, we don't have this big rate. spike of increase in taxes. Keeps the rate safe. So it keeps the rate safe. So, so that's what I really think when you talk about the February thing, I think that's really where our focus should be because we should have a bond package ready for the, the summertime meeting, the annual time meeting. But this stuff is, is free cash, I'm not sure exact date. I thought you had to use it by June or something, but there's a certain time limit when you can use free cash. So free cash is going to be over 700 grand from what yeah. I'm told. So yeah. this is, a yeah. my, this is the capital part of it. It's yeah. nice to see the state <laughs> have that billion somewhere hiding in a fund. Because we, this thing has come before us for what now? It's five, six, seven years on these parking lots? Yeah. And it just hasn't driven to the level yeah. to that. So if, if it comes through, that would be great. Because it's been on our radar. Oh, we that's just say, I'm, do I'm trying everything I can to find money for the town is what I'm trying to do. So here's my here's the situation. The Finance Committee and the Board of Selectmen are meeting 30 night to place items on the agenda for the town meeting. So I'm hoping if you guys vote for some of these things tonight, that they would be ready and I could say that they will be on the warrant, because I already have them on my warrant, and they would be on there and if the selectmen would place them, but they it obviously helps if, if you guys vote to support these articles because then it's done and I can say these are your articles that came from the Capital Improvement Committee. What I didn't know in doing this if you guys already developed your own plan and if they were going to jive or not jive. What you're telling me you haven't done that yet. So this maybe this works and makes it your life easier. I don't know. Well, we do, <clears throat> if you want to, Joe, we do have a plan. We go out years and we'll receive things. Mm -hmm. But it changes every year. But in order to do this year, no, we don't officially have a this year plan in place, yeah. except what we had did last year. That won't be ready until around February. And truthfully, me and Joe, from our this is not so much a plan as a meet immediate needs kind of problem. Yeah. <laughs> this is really not a. This is looking at the capital and saying we got to do this stuff now more than. There's nothing here we can say, oh, we can put it off for four years. This is stuff that yeah, this is kind of sticking in our faces, but, you know? Right. Right. You seem to think that there's enough free cash to cover this. I wouldn't, put it, I wouldn't be here if I didn't have that yeah. number. And no, it is, yeah. So what I would have to when you <coughs> asked to show up. be a lot more water and sewer free cash, but. When you asked to show up here tonight, I thought of this more as an emergency meeting for this. Well, summer. it kind of is. Not my a opinion. February meeting, so yeah. to speak. I mean, that's the way I look at it, and that's why I wanted to make sure that, you know, we're here to answer questions about what we're doing. And, and truthfully, I didn't know if you guys were going to say, you know, well, we think we should add this or not add this, and I'm open to any discussion. But these, we, we analyzed all this stuff and came up with sort of our critical needs request. Yeah. Is what we did. There's no fluff in here. It's all kind of right. stuff we have to do, you know. Uh, Mike, do you have any comments on doing these things? Under potential, and again, we have to clarify that we if we recommended it would be if the free cash was available. Of course, yeah, that's, 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 that goes. I wouldn't be here. If it wasn't, I know. Yeah. That. We I know. we voted on some things last year, not having any idea what free cash we were going to have. Yeah, yeah. we didn't think we were going to have any. Put it this way, I have a lot more articles in here, and I'm not sharing that because I don't know the exact number yet. Yeah. Because it hasn't been certified. Okay. But I've had a conversation with the, the town of Congress to know that I'm comfortable doing what I'm doing today. Yeah. Otherwise, what I do, there's other articles that are not capital rated with more free cash expenditures. Because this is, if I remember correctly, it's around 400 and something thousand dollars. Right. I've yeah. got another couple of hundred grand coming out of other things. And well, some of this is included in that $400,000. All of what we talked about is in the 400 grand. Yeah. So that's biting off a big chunk of that. Yep. Let's, but there's going to be, I leave me, I'm leaving extra money there for budget problems in the future as yeah. well. So I'm not using all the free cash. There's still going to be money above I mean, this. For can a can we consider these almost like quotes, these costs? I mean, yeah, they are. I mean these are quotes. These are quotes, quotes. in the we, we, we like to see written quotes from vendors and whatnot. I sent you two of them. 
Yeah. They said to the rest. Oh most yeah, of them are coming, they're actually yeah. yeah. Most of them are coming out of your facility management plan. These guys have. That's okay. where all the numbers are for. So okay. these are all quotes from them. Is part of our facility management plan. So there's no guessing here. In Some of the root Joe's stuff I didn't feel comfortable with. But, but that's I, what you would like. Uh, what a couple these, of experts. In the these field. all thing. These are all things that would be ready to go to bid. Right. Um. Yeah. Pretty much. Right. I mean, all of them would be, yeah. Let's yeah. start bidding the paper. Well, we're going to have a little bit. We may have a little bit. Well, let me answer this. Yeah. Do you want to hear about that? Yeah, let me, well, let's, 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 let me answer let's this question. Right so right the, answer, yeah. the answer to that question is yes, with the exception of the roofs, we may have to have some engineering work before we do the bid, just to make sure that we get okay. but the bid right. But that's in this number. That's in this number, but that would be the only thing that would keep us from putting some of those things out the bid is making sure that. The roofs, we fix them the right way and not just fix them and have them be a problem again. Right. We need to address yeah, and them. Weston and Sampson didn't cover that base in, the, in there. That's in the dollar amount we gave you, but yeah. we would want, before we put it out the bid, we'd have that work done by Weston and Sampson they, or, or whatever okay. engineering company. The report identifies the failures and makes recommendations. Okay. Um, but they're not construction space. No. Okay. The cost that's in here for the library is the cost to provide plans and specs and construction inspection and their estimate at this time. And it, so it, it, it includes it from soup to nuts. Correct. Yeah. yeah, we we I would be happy with that. We really don't want to come back because mm -hmm. once you do this, if we don't budget enough, we're dead because it stops oh, the whole yeah. project. I, so I you've got a little bit of cushion, but you're not am, a lot of cushion. I understand but that. But I, I said it a couple times through the process. Um, the study it is done, and they've identified the pieces that and parts that have failed that need to be replaced. Study is the study. The study is the study. Okay. But you still have to pay an engineer or, in some cases, an architect to give you plans and specs. You really? What's been identified as, as wrong or defective has been done. But to get it fixed, you still have to have someone on the ground to produce plans and specs. And, and, and your quote includes not only the bid, but the engineering cost. For the, for the, rush. For the couple yeah. I value for this, evaluated for this one, yes. Okay. Thanks. That's really the only thing we need engineering costs those buildings. Dan, do you have any comments in regards to the stuff that's presented? Any at this time, any questions? We'll discuss no. stuff afterwards. No, really the only thing I think we would need a little more info on is what exactly, which buildings are included on that. Fire stuff. The fire stuff, yeah. Yeah. I, you know, truthfully, I, I, I'd like to call the chief and get that answer for you right now. Because we're, we're going to do this for he's Thursday always, night. I need to have it. He's always pretty good at yeah, having exact quotes and everything. You got the chief's number you want to call? I can call him. Call the chief and just ask him what's included because I want to make sure these guys have the right answer. And that's why I told some of my department heads if you, want, you really should show up because if you don't, he's always been very quick to send us these yeah, things he when knows. he has them. So yeah. that's usually pretty organized about yeah, that. Yeah, he's good. He went to school, but he. Um, Expensive for that time. He'll answer that question in seconds. We do, if we, do if we go forward with that article, you're talking about the heating and it does Well, just to make it such a way. I'm calling you from CIPC. It is not to put the amount. Put, and they've put identified the a question on what your article is. So we know what we do. We have the money. We don't need that much money. Speaker? If we already have the money someplace, we could just um, add All you're going to have to do, it's very simple. I think it was the heating one. It's the heating one. It's the heating one. To see if the town will vote to transfer some of money or free cash for the purpose of repairing the fire alarms, sprinkler systems within town owned buildings, including all incidental and related expenses or take any action in relation there too and it seems pretty straightforward but the gentleman in question simply wanted to know if it, what were the buildings involved and I'm gonna put you on speaker okay thank you Seth can you hear me I can hear you. all right if you could just please explain that article they're just concerned okay. as to which buildings they don't want to have it overlap. Yeah. so it is uh, the fire alarm system I want to say was fifty seven hundred dollars and that includes library, DPW building, town hall, the annex, and I think that's it. Um, and the rest is to bring us some repairs to the DPW building and the library. So, um, Seth, uh, yes. we uh, have... Seth, uh, Mike Ferguson is talking right now. Yep. Um, we had approved um, a, a system in the library, was it a year or two ago? to upgrade yeah. their system. This isn't yeah. duplicating any of that, is it? No, this is not. So this is basically replacing uh, the, uh, they currently have a 3G wireless or cellular dialer. It is not utilizing a Verizon telephone line. And because of the technology change, we have to go to 5G. And this would be changing all the town buildings to a 5G cellular dialer system. Um, so it's basically a technology change on that. You know, the sprinkler 
which is our things that came up during our annual inspections. Uh, most of our buildings are coming up on a 20 year uh, life cycle. That needs some um, annual and further inspection and uh, replacement of certain items. Seth, hey, hey Seth, it's Joe. How are you? Yeah, good. Um, I, I'm just, I, I guess I just need further clarification. What What is the difference between what you just explained and, and what we did on the fire alarm at the library back in 2000? Because okay. it sounded like, because back in then we were, we were talking about the dedicated copper lines and, and things of that. Yeah, yep. Okay. Yep. So basically when we replaced the uh, fire alarm system in the library, it was the entire fire alarm system panel <laughs> itself and it replaced the copper line to uh, a 3G uh, system at that time because that was the technology available at the time. That system or the 3G technology um, for the uh, cellular dialers or uh, notification is going to become obsolete in January. It needs to be changed to 5G. And that technology was not available when we changed that panel at that time. How unfortunate. It, it, yeah, yeah. It, it, yeah it, it's just over $800 per building um, to change the dialer to so, another uh, wireless system. All right. So back in, in 2000, it wasn't even 4G. All we had was 3G. Because, I mean, 5G is not even available right now in, in this part of the Right. And, and so that's why we're moving towards that. And so uh, we are ahead of the game and we can be compatible to 5G once that's available. So we, we should get a year of life out of this 5G system. Uh, Seth, Harry, second. Yep. Yeah. Did you say that this is more or less a mandate that we that you have to go to 5G even though it may not be available? The 3G system will not work as a January first. But what about 5G? Is that a mandate by the state that we have to replace no. it, or that's all that's replaceable by it's 5G? That 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 is what they're offering us is a 5G compatible system, and basically <laughs> we can grow into the 5G and get the 10 years out of it. The current system we have in all town buildings is 3G. And 3G is on the as of January 1st. Okay. So no no town building will be able to notify any um, fire type activity in any building as of January 1st. Okay. <laughs> so that leads me to ask a question. If, if we prove this in November, how quickly will it take you to get this all set up? It'll be fine uh, before December. We, we, if, yeah, if it was at a town meeting, it would be done in a week. Okay. Just so I know. Yeah. Our vendor is aware of it. They brought us this to our attention uh, back in June, um, and they told us what and gave us a timeline. I told them. Seth, you're breaking up. They're changing them in all all their buildings throughout the area, and so they have the uh, equipment in stock, so they'll be able to get to it right away. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions for Seth? No? No, no, no more questions from us, Seth. We're good, Seth. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Chief. All right, you guys have a great night. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, bye bye. That's unfortunate. That things change so fast. Yeah. Hope we didn't uh, throw away too much money on that two uh, years ago. This isn't, this but isn't that was more than just the, the call. Right. Yeah. This, he said that's like an $800 upgrade in each yeah, building. update the connection. Yeah. Yeah. So that, all that money wasn't wasted. But Any other things else, Dan? Joe? I have a couple things before I forget. Okay. Free cash for water and sewers estimated at $930,000. Okay. You know, they don't have separate anymore. <coughs> yeah, these numbers are only a couple hundred grand here, so we're going to leave free cash with same retained earnings. All right, quick question. Has any thought been given by the Finance Committee, the Select Board, or the Town Accountant, or you, about separating those back out? Separating what back out? Well, by law, you can't Super separate them out for three years. Oh, yeah. Okay. You have to keep them, to, you have to um, maintain separate budgets, but once you form the enterprise, the enterprise has to stay in place for three years. Okay. So from an accounting standpoint, I know it's lumped, but from an accounting standpoint, do you know the split of that 930 between water and soil? I don't know. Yeah, I could yeah. ask. I don't know. We can die stand by no idea how that works. Yeah. I mean, it, it's probably going to come up at town meeting, so what? it should be a number that's known because you, you know, based on, you weren't there for it, <laughs> but, yeah, but when that whole thing happened, it obviously was a heated conversation, and 
um, SOA users who were not water users or vice versa are going to want to know, okay, of that retained earnings, how much is SOAR and is it being applied towards SOAR? Does it even, does it even work like that now? They does it even can't do it work that way by law anymore. I think now it's just well, SOAR work because it's, it's one, one account. Okay. I don't think you can break it down like that. Well, I don't know. I'd be, maybe, I don't know if it's a question worth it. Let's check with the We can check with, we can check with But I, don't, I think the purpose of that is is that once you put it in SOAR, you don't distinguish the two. I want to say that in that conversation, it was one of the responses provided was we will still, we from have an accounting to, perspective, know no, how to split. Well, what they were worried about was that <coughs> some free cash from water was used to clean right. up the sewer mess. Right. It was about $300,000. Right. But that's, that's I, I mean, I understand, I, I wasn't there, but I heard of it. And that was one of the questions they had. They felt that like water was subsidizing sewer is what the issue was. Is well, it, yeah, it was. I remember that discussion. <laughs> well, that's, well, that's what I recall hearing yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> And that may be true, but it is, you know, at the end of the day, you know, most people have water, have sewer, it's the same, it's the same, it's the same system. So either way, you're going to pay one or the other. It doesn't make a difference. Well, we do you some people have water, water and not the other. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah some people you know. might have water, but not septic is usually what the case yeah. is, right? It's a small minority of that, but, but still. Yeah, no, it's going to piss off. Yeah, that yeah, yeah, was a big to-do. Mm -hmm. Some I of guess. us don't have either. We've, um, <laughs> we've put stuff in play. The good the news is the sewer bills... I shouldn't say they're not going to go down, but they're not going to go up as much because we've come to the conclusion, thanks to Joe's work and, and working with Weston Sampson, that we're being, being overcharged for our sewer costs. And as a result of that, uh, our sewer bill should go down, which means that... Um, don't say that. I, know, I, don't, I can't say it because we don't know that rates are going to go down, but they won't go up, or if they go up, they won't buy go up as much as they normally would. That's, that's, that's I guess, the best way to say it, right, John? Mm -hmm. So, we don't know the, okay, let me the, the biggest part of our sewer charges or our sewer budget is transportation and transportation. <laughs> right. Okay, so transportation is the number he's talking about. Transportation is estimated to go down by as much as 27%. Okay. Um, we had a big meeting with all the people involved and the state's hoping, hoping to help us recover that money. But in the, more importantly, as time goes on, your so if we were being billed for 100 gallons, we're now going to get billed for like 75. Now, are you in that same boat with Holden and West Boylston? Is it a fight? You're no, in? we're the no. only ones, not them. No. It's, it's our meter was wrong. Our meter oh, was wrong. Oh, the problem was with our meter. Rutland's meter. Rutland's meter was blood. Oh, okay. It was silt was laying on top of the meter, causing the meter to be off by 26%. Now, it wasn't a fun it's a fight. Simple, they it's a simple way to explain well, it. But they, is there any way to show how long? <laughs> That's well, our problem. By looking at cash bills or yeah, yeah. officially, what we've decided, we've gotten everyone to commit to do was agree to when we put we hired Weston Simpson or flow assessment to put meters in the line on our behalf. Mm -hmm. That was about a year and a half ago. Right. Um, so, so the cost is backed up at least to that time. Yeah, we can prove that because we, we can because technically right. you can see it right mm -hmm. there. You know, you go back a year and a half and you look at that data. Oh, that meter's off. But prior to that, there's no way to verify. There's no way to verify. We think it's been a long time. It could be five years. We don't know. There's no way to show. But over five years, our use has changed in this town. So our use has changed. There's no way to, no way to measure that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. some other upsides right. from the utility side. Yeah. Um, that means we've restored a bunch of capacity. Okay. Which is also good. Which is good. Yeah. Um, but it, it's safe to say that the <clears throat> couple of articles here that we could vote on would just come right out of the free cash while out of the sewer. Yeah, for water and sewer for that. Yeah, about 200000 <coughs> Free cash for the normal stuff, mm -hmm. that, and then for sewer water be out of the retained range. Joe, I'll try and find that number, Joe, or I'll okay. ask. I don't so know. We'll see if it exists. Yeah. Joe, you got anything else? I don't want to step in. No, the, the only one I'm a, I'm a little fuzzy on is this last one, the 125K. Um, I, hope, I hope I don't need it all, because it's only being transferred to the reserve, and if it doesn't get used by the end of the year, it's all done anyways and goes back to retained earnings. We just have that, we don't, it's being done as design bill. So in a perfect world, we would have hired Weston Sampson or some other firm to come in and identify all the plant failures, put some bid to documents together, put it out on the street and fix it, you'd have a real number to play with. We had to scramble because we lost all our offerings. So we're doing that work in real time. And that's what that extra one is for, just in case. Mm -hmm. So funds have been expended to date. Well, yeah, about 350000 Okay, and, and where was that? Right. Hmm? That came out of the article. Out of the article that we had for Oh, that's board. from the article. Yes. Okay. And this is another article just to show that. 
Well, uh, frankly, if we didn't go to the article or didn't use the borrowed money, you'd be looking at massive rate increases, 20, 30 percent, just to keep the plant running. Now, is the, the, the manpower portion of what we've used as Weston and Sampson for that to replace the employees we have, that's not coming from the article. That's coming from the board. You did have to. Yeah, yeah. We got you couldn't take that from wages or appropriate it in the you budget because technically it's, there's a split there. I mean, you're paying them to you do couldn't the job pay them to do it that way. Was doing. We actually talked to the state. I actually went through that exercise, mm -hmm. called the office, the inspector general, went through the entire procedure. They were much more comfortable doing it with the borrowed money than trying to go back after the O&M money. So what's, obviously you've got wages sitting there yep. in line items that because you didn't have employees for a period of a year that they won't be expended in the fiscal year. So is there an opportunity to do a transfers of line items at this meeting versus appropriating new money? So you would be used for that same purpose? It's all, but I think I'd wait and see how we make out towards the end because that would also go back to water and sewer retained earnings. Oh, sure. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So if I don't use this, this goes to water and sewer retained it's earnings. All the same so pot. it's the same pot. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what I'm gaining by doing it that way. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's perception. Uh, it's kind of what's going through my mind because these are the questions I probably are going to come up. You know, you might be better plan. taking from resources that have already been appropriated to redirect versus well, in people's eyes taking point. new money but at and, the same and bring time, into the budget. We've had to spend more on purchase, purchase services than we anticipated. Mm -hmm. So that number is going to be in trouble anyways. So we might end up using some of it, some of that extra wages that's already there. I hadn't thought of it until we talked just now. Something about it. But I can try and put some numbers to yeah. And then the only other question I have, and I'm, I'm sure you've thought of this, Joe, because you're way ahead of me on it, is on the library piece, I would assume the roof work and the repair is going to be done before we replace the units that go into those areas of the roof, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Right. Okay. Yeah. There. So one's dependent on the other. Which is truthfully, which is one of the things, I mean, that, that actually sounds like sound silly, but but that's the reason when we focus on, when we look at the infrastructure building, we're taking care of roofs first. Mm -hmm. Because we know we have to do siding and windows. Well, why do all that stuff until they have the, the building enclosed and safe from mortar? So that's why, because to be honest with you, I have department heads who go, who sometimes want to do, like, let's fix the interior before you fix the roof. And I just, it, it puzzles me they think that way, but, but that's not the way we're looking at it. We're looking at it from a shell first or a structure first and then right. interior and, and you know, the other things. So. Okay. We have to briefly explain the proposed paving for 56 and 68. Because that's a massive... That's, a, that's, the, that's, the, uh, that's the state. The state money. Right. That's not us. That's not, we're not funding any of it. We're not funding it, but... You tell them about it. Tell them about it. That's fine. Yeah. Uh, curious for personal reasons, right? <laughs> but, so you <laughs> came through with a big grant. Yep. And they're going to basically resurface 68. And they're going to basically resurface most of 56. 68, except what was recently done. And yeah. Gardner, how much? <coughs> From the Holden line to the Hubbardston line. Okay. Yeah. And Hubbardston was so done strictly two run. years ago. Just run. Okay. And we still have a massive project. We got two projects approved uh, in our town. And what? a lot of towns haven't gotten anything. Yet. So we're in, That's good. We're in an area for some reason that they are different. Right? Ten years. But it has to do well, with I think town thinking, roads. Not town stop. roads that have state route numbers yeah. is what they're looking. Well, the, for. the bid that was in the paper yesterday or the day before. Yeah. That's, that's state money also, right? That's um. It's federal pasture state money. Federal. Oh, that that one's um, complete streets. Oh, and that's the Maple Avenue one. Yeah. Um, that's just sidewalks. Though. Sidewalks and retaining and walls and, yeah, and, and everything. Yeah. But people have been screaming about that for a long time. They're, they're, they're not going to redo the rough portion of 68 like they did the older portion. No, it's that's just a disaster. <laughs> yeah, no, we're it's better a, off with what we got. It's yeah. grind and overlay, and I think okay. it's older than 10 years. I want to say closer to 15 or 20. No. And it's, got a, it's got a lot of cracking in it already. It does, yeah. but that's because the cracking is based on the heaving because it wasn't engineered right when they did it the first, first time. time. But it wasn't done that long ago. That's nice to know we're not you know, It's got the whole thing cracking. The other thing we asked them to do was to my road. No, we asked them to by the incorporate day. some of the um, uh, lane marking and island improvements at Wachusett to make that more safe. We asked them to include that as part of that one. Oh, yeah. That's been a hot topic for a while. Well, we yeah, put we the new signs on. 
Yeah, I don't want that job. Because we got the, the fifty thousand dollar lights. Yeah. yeah. There, uh, there hasn't been a crash. I, I looked down there. Yeah. There hasn't been a crash. No, there, there hasn't. It, it was just to me. I'm kind of. I'm, I'm being a little facetious because I the lights. I think the lights are great. I did. It's the study that that was expended to get to the lights that I kind of laugh at. You can't yeah, because yeah. What's, I gotta tell you. Sense, I gotta tell you. If you didn't do that, and God forbid something happened, you would open the town up to a bigger. Yeah. I think it was money well spent. Okay. Well. Anyway, I think we uh, we probably have what we need as far as what we have. To Where is your room? Sure. Turkey Hill. Yeah, we're not. Going. It's, have you seen it lately? With I'm all sorry, the where? Turkey Hill Road. I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> There's with all the new houses that are going up, going up the hill. Oh yeah, they're making a mess. They're destroying, and they're backing up, and they're you know the drainage ditch. They're, they're backing into that, so now the water's flowing out into the road and we're, and washing it out right in the middle. And they're parking. They they park all the way on the side of the road, so everybody has to go to the other side into the ditch. We have. Um, the chief, I, I got a complaint on that about that electronically and. The chief is going to look at that one himself. The police chief. So. Okay. Uh, any other comments, Joe? No. 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 Okay. Uh, any comments? I don't think so. Unless you have any questions. Yeah, I think that sewer piece is pretty cut and dry. Well, that's that's, <laughs> that's actually an easy one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And that would also come out of the uh, sewer reserves, or is that no? So, no, that's town. That's, that's free cash. That's free okay. cash. Okay. 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 Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Uh, how can you say no? You know, it's kind of a well. We look at the, our, our rating sheets and how we do things. It makes it a little simpler for us. So, uh, the federal compliance stuff is pretty straightforward. Too. Yeah, you know, that's yeah. the law. Right, right, right. Okay. So, we, uh, gentlemen, any other questions for our guests? No, no. I have questions for us, but yeah. Okay. <clears throat> then uh, we thank you for coming. Well, just like I said, I, I'm going to stay because. Whatever you guys do, I need to put on the warrant, so okay. I'm going to be here to answer questions yes, if you go forward with them. But okay. yeah, I'm all set. It's really just a decision if they're going to make motion for articles or not. That's uh, that's what I got to figure out. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Karina. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Uh, you have yeah. any? Uh, when we're looking at these articles for recommending. Is there? Uh, do you have any? Uh, Questions that are glaring right off the bat for the committee for us to talk about that you see that might be an issue. So we make them that. And that's, we're going to go all through the that time. Right. And this is, oh, you're going to so present so this so at the meeting. And then it's on Thursday night. Uh, Thursday, thank you. Thursday night. Let's just say this is the, they're, hey, they're, from the they're placing the articles. Probably. That's why I had to have it. I'm sorry, um, everybody. So you guys can All right. Okay. Otherwise, I would have called here. It's pretty simple. We have to decide if we're comfortable voting for these. Well, first, I think we should. We should just strike all the ones Thanks. that we know are not us. So that's okay. 15, 16, 17, 24, 24 and 25 are definitely not you. Yeah. But, uh, so, and, well, yeah, and the only thing about 17, we want to make sure it wasn't already appropriated. 15. In that any town meeting article. The snow plow assembly is smaller than. But it was 10, 10 it was grand, over 10,000. Right? Oh, we had it over 10,000. It was over 10,000. So you think it's already been voted? So we got to check and see if it's been voted. Yeah. Okay. It was just over 10 back And that was in May? Yeah. Yeah, I'll check on that. But that uh, Again, that article, maybe there was no so motion. If that, is, motion, if, if that 15, was, I mean, they could just strike the whole article. Exactly. Right. That's what 15, I hope. 15, 16, 15, 17, 16, 17, 18, 24, 25. 24, 25, and then 26 and 27 are included. 26 is. The 18 we weren't sure about, but 24 we strike and 25 we strike. Are we sure 18, about 27 though? I mean, 26 I'd say definitely is. Yeah. Last one in Samson. Well, this is a. This 25 is 27 are questionable. I think. 26. Yeah, we probably 26 will. 27 is questionable. Because 27 is questionable. It says to the water operation for continued updates. So the updates were already approved. 
No, that was the one Joe says that this is the one he's doing as he goes. That the, the company we hired at Weston Sampson, and Weston Sampson is doing this on like a, a real time basis. Oh, oh, so is it, could some of that <clears throat> wasn't covered by the previous three hundred thousand? Yeah, no, it was no. some stuff right, but this is money that he thinks sure. that if he doesn't use it, it's going to fall back into retained yeah. earnings. This is the whole discussion he had about. Yeah, yeah. Fall back into okay. All right, let's take them one at a time then. Any other, any other outliers here? So if, uh, you, if you want, whoever might do these, I have them written with the amounts right next to them, so all you would have to do is read the article with the yeah. amount that I put here. And it, it, it's 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 nine through 14 are definitely within our purview. So you may want to write down these numbers right next to nine just to make it easier. So nine is 35,000. Yeah, I got, yeah, I, I I got, got that. Yeah. I did that. Okay, if you already did that, then you're ahead of okay. Well, you did it for so I did it in a separate chart. I was yeah. just, this is the motion, so I put it right next to the motion. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all I was thinking. So when you, you read the motion, instead of saying a sum of money, but you, you had added another here that I didn't have. Oh. So what I was suggesting, where when you look at an article and it says a sum of money, you just put transfer and then you put thirty-five thousand into that first article. Yeah, so you just that's the motion as it would be in the town meeting. <clears throat> uh, so I want to make a motion on article nine. I'm confused with my paperwork. One second. Okay. Just keep in mind that makes your life so much easier. Well, you know, I had the original ones, but then you. So these are the motions. Yep. And all you do is instead of putting in a sum of money, you put in the thirty, the numbers. Yeah. Those numbers. Right. Well. Uh, okay. So this is updated because the paperwork that I started yeah, working on. Yeah, that's the most updated one. Didn't have the all the water and sewer stuff at the end. And the, yeah, that's the latest, most updated one. And uh, XXX. Okay. X means they're not to be taken care of. No question marks. For ones we can talk about because they're babies. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. I don't know what you want to do with them. So, um, <laughs> article, uh, any, dis any discussion on Article 9 before we vote on it? No. But personally, I think it's a no brainer, no. and I would make a motion that we approve that. Discussion, Dan? No, no discussion. Joe? Yes, sir. All right, you can make a motion, Mike? Yes, I do. Go ahead. I make a motion that we approve the thirty-five, the transfer of thirty-five thousand to cover the uh, the sewer leak under the recreation building, pool building. Second. Any discussion? <clears throat> All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Article ten. See if the town will vote to sum of money for the purpose of replacing the roof on the community center. Uh, I'm sorry, can we readjust the, uh, can we go over Article 9 again and re vote that one, please? I would like to add the word up to 35,000. I don't think that was in there. Okay. Well, your, your, your transfer, you have to, well. It doesn't matter because whatever you don't use, fall out in the free cash. Okay. So. Okay. Right. It doesn't matter. That's why I said with Todd Scoops, accounts. Yeah. So anything left over that's not using that project gets swept and goes back in. Thank so. God we got new Joe in here because that's, no, that's, that's, that's why I'm sitting here, just to make okay. sure we're, we're All good. Right, then. Article 10, in regards to the replacing of the roof on the community center building, uh, do we have a motion on that? I will make a motion to uh, transfer $90,000 from free cash for the purpose of replacing the roof on the community center building. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Uh, Article 11. Uh, transferring the sum of money for free cash for the purpose of addressing the rooftop utility storage location he, at the library. Um, that one I think we discussed earlier and we were approval of that one, so I don't think that's a, a, an issue. So. I'll make a motion that we uh, vote for the sum of money from free cash to address the rooftop utility storage location for the heat AC event at the library as a result of yes, seventy-five thousand. Seventy. And I, I will second that. Seventy-five thousand. Okay, seconded by Mike. Just one comment on that. That's the other one that we want to make sure there was nothing in that article to for. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. On this article, if we find out there's been some money that's already been addressed, I'm going to lower that amount to whatever the difference is. Right. Okay. okay. So yeah. I'm going to check to see if there's a previous article, and Joe's going to send me that yeah. so I can yeah. look. Okay. 
Uh, having a second, any discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Vote. Thank you. Just to put it clearly on the record, it's $75,000 or if money's already been allocated, the difference between the two. Okay. Just so it's clearly on the record. These are all, these are kind of mandatory because they're, they're pretty much, one has failed, one's leaking. Uh, do I have a motion on that one? I would make a motion that we transfer the $90,000 to cover the uh, heat and air conditioning units on the roof, the three of them, at the cost of 90000 Okay. Second. Joe seconded. Any discussion? No hearing, no discussion. Fake, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. okay. Article 13, I'll make a motion to transfer um, 12,955. For the purpose of repair and fire alarm and sprinkler systems in town owned building, town -owned <coughs> build, buildings. Okay. I'll second. Motion made and seconded by Daniel. Uh, any discussion? Hearing none, uh, I'm going to make a roll, roll call. Mike? Aye. Uh, I, I don't want to say all in favor of anyone. Mike, Dan? Aye. Joe? Aye. You don't have to. What's that? All in favor? No, you don't have to do a roll call on the general. I know, but uh, instead of doing that, instead of, well, just ask for your vote. So I'm, 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 I'm fine either way. I'm just letting oh, you know. Yeah, I'm fine either way. As long as we're all understanding it and right. in agreement. Okay. So, uh, motion has been made seconded and voted on. All, uh, all in favor of aye. Thank you. Article 14, I'll make a motion to raise and appropriate the sum 14,285.71 for the town's matching portion um, for the ambulance. Okay. I'll second that motion again. Mike seconded. Okay. Any discussion? Hearing none, can I do vote? Aye. 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 All in favor. Okay. Motion passes. I don't think we need a motion, but 15, I, 16, I don't, yeah, 17. 15, 16. Um, no, 15, we're not going to do anything with that. Yeah, and then 18 is kind of questionable. 17 is the one we want to look into. Yeah, you say it's already been funded, but that well, one. Well, no, I, I questioned funded. within that article, that capital improvement article. That's yeah, but so. even if even if it's not there, this one's under 10 grand. So is your capital improvement over 10 grand, the way you guys do capital improvement? No, no, it's not. But okay. I, all I'm saying is you could probably strike the article altogether. If it's oh, you think I might be able to yeah. strike this yeah. one entirely? Yeah, yeah. you might be able to. Hi, again, send me that, Joe. Yeah. yeah. Maybe you strike and, and we may not have funded anything in that article, but the fact that the article was there makes me question it, so we just want okay. to So let me ask you, though, if the article is not there in the past, is this something you would have to vote on? No, it's not no. grand. Okay, no. it's because it's under 10 grand. That's right. Yeah. Okay. All right, so I'm not worried about that one either. 17. The next one is the question mark. I don't think you have to approve it. This is the one I said, kind of like you to be in support of it, but 18, but I don't know if we really technically have to vote for it, but this this is a whole immediate repairs yeah. with the electrical, plumbing and stuff. It's up to you guys what you want to do. It just makes it stronger if you vote for it, but I, I don't I don't, I don't know if you guys I, don't care. I, I don't know if so we have to vote. We can certainly make a recommendation. Now, why don't you just do that? Make a recommendation. That and the uh, uh, finance and select board consider uh, approving Article Twenty Six for uh, purchase of a new pump assembly. No, that, no that's no, not the one. Different. No, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. talking about Article Eighteen. It has to deal with the oh, immediate repairs. That's the plumbing, electrical, uh, 50, landscaping 50, issue. Is it that. fifty thousand? Well, let's just. I mean, it, it's not going to hurt. So let's do this. I'll just make a motion that the town transfer. $50,000 from free cash for the purpose of funding immediate repairs to town buildings okay. as identified on the facilities made it. Yeah. Yeah. It doesn't hurt to. No. If you support it, yeah. I'll second. Uh, any discussion? Vote? Aye. Aye. Joe? Dan? Aye. Mike? Aye. Harry? Aye. Okay. So, so we should we do 26? 24. 
We so struck it at 24. We struck that. That's a federal requirement. That's right. 24, 25. You don't have to do either, right? It's a requirement. No. 26 is, yeah, awesome. 26 is the one you have to do. It. That's, that's the pumps. I'll All make right. a motion to transfer 27500 for the purpose of um, purchasing a new pump assembly for the Miles Road sewer pump station and rebuild the other. Okay, uh, motion was made by Dan. Second. Joe seconded. Any discussion? Hearing none, we vote. Harry, aye. aye. Dan, aye. Mike Ferguson, aye. Aye. Joe, aye. Okay, so we have so proof. That was Article Joe, we did about 27. What do you want to do with that? Um, I don't want to mention that either. That's the toss up one, too. I don't know. Yeah. I'm thinking we probably should. Okay. Um, you think we should vote on that? Mm -hmm. um, transfer I'll, some of money. I, I have no problem with that. I'm just wondering if, if in the prior article that was that was part of the three hundred thousand. That was part of the some part of that was used from the borrower. Yeah. And and but this is Joe thinks he needs some from retained earnings, but if he doesn't use it, it'll just fall back into retained earnings. So he's putting it into, from retained earnings, he's putting it into a reserve. That's that cool. allows him to spend it if he needs it, but if he doesn't spend it, it just falls back into retained earnings. That was the 199? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, 125. 125. Huh? Oh. That's 125, yeah. Oh. Okay. yeah. So you say water operations reserve, is that a line item in the budget? Yes. It is. So that allows him to spend it in the air. By the way, that allows him, we didn't have to go to a town meeting to get money. He, he can actually yeah. vote it. And then if he doesn't use it, it falls back at the retainer Okay. Then that's part of the upgrading of the facility to make it. And truthfully, what the upgrade is, the big part of the upgrade, is to try to get us off from having, well, one, it improves the facility operations, but two, is it means we might not have to have workers there on weekends. Okay. Because the facility can run itself, is what we're trying to get to. Right. Because we're having a hard time getting keeping staff there. And particularly, nobody wants to work on weekends. So, yeah, so we're paying time and a half on weekends. Then. Well, if you can get them to stay. But the problem right. is, we can't even keep. It's so hard to keep people in water and sewer. You know what's going on is everybody's stealing everybody else's employees and they're jacking up the prices and people are leaving. So we lost our three of us. Although the the department head in this area left and then he wanted to come back, and by then it was too late. Too late. Yeah. yeah. But you know, sometimes the grass isn't necessarily greener on the other side. But that's, that's the right. hope when they make the change. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we already hired somebody. We already hit the uh, top of the position. Your meeting is Thursday. Thursday. So, you're going to see these all. What's going to happen on Thursday? Uh, I, I had a question. I was going to say, what do you need from us by then? I mean, it's, it's already a, on a video I'm, recording. I have it recorded. I know what you, you did. Yeah. I can just say that they And there's a video the record. Yeah. So, you just got to say you wanted to do 27 or not. But that. Mm -hmm. But what's, kind of stuck on 20. Yeah, I, I, am, I am too. Uh, I can understand his need for it. And. Um, well, I'm stuck on the fact of whether it's capital or not. Because right. yeah, it's certainly well, some it's, component it's of It's kind of operational. operational. Yes. Yeah, it's a it's, combination of capital and operational. Is what if it didn't say water operation. It doesn't tell you exactly what sure. capital it is. That's yeah. Um, it's both, but I don't, you don't know what, what's what the capital, capital and what's part of it. Well, maybe this could be something Joe could try to work on transferring money from operations to pay for this. Well, this would go the only way. I'm trying to think on the fly here, but let's assume what Joe was talking about, the salaries. If there was left money, leftover money in the salaries, but Joe won't know, he won't know that to the end of the year anyway. Yeah, right. So you're not going to know. Not for Tom Meeting, you never know. So he, he can't deal with it. You can't deal with it now because we're only partially into the year. I mean, all, the only piece he would know is, you know, the, but it, the, the portion of the year when the, the guys were here. Yeah. yeah. So, but know. the problem is the prices for those, the, the company is so far blows away what it would have cost for employees. Yes. Like, that's why we were so rushing to get employees back because because yeah. because the prices the contractors doing the engineering companies are raised. I guess when I look at our, our, our language, I don't. Uh, what you're talking about is a pump here that might be 3,700, and another pump over there that's 27, or the gauges. I don't. Could be all kinds of things as well. Yeah, I don't know. In addition, to, it could be parts, but it could be personnel. And that would be maintenance. No, it would be personnel. Counter. I mean, the people who so, are manning it. No, mm -hmm. it's what, what's going on now is the, the company was running the operation, and all they're doing now is training the three employees. Oh, that would be okay. over soon. So that the, the oh, okay. labor component of that's going away. You've got that the new people. Go, that's coming, yes. The new people are fully staffed now. The only issue is I'm not sure they're all done with training yet. 
So none of this money will go operational. Uh, most of it would go, upgrading the plant would go to, I think, engineering and physical equipment. I would, well. I had, would have an easier time voting on that. There's no, if it's uh, not really operational. There's no labor money in this. This is engineering and equipment is what this would be. Yeah, the way this is written is the way our bylaws are written. I just don't think it's something we need to act on. That's the question. I don't think it is. That's how it feels to me based yeah. on the wording right now. I mean, we're looking for to updates. Well, that's not a capital improvement. That's a maintenance issue. And you look at operations. That's mm -hmm. operations. That's not capital. Well, it, it doesn't. It so, sounds like the operations is just about over. If I can't define what is really a capital, then I can't really. Well, that's a, that, to me. That's the problem. Is we don't know so, what capital energy is buying. We know he's buying capital energy because it was capital energy going to improve the plant, but we don't what know what they are. Is it happening as they develop? Well, you know, the plan is they put but I, I, I understand if there are a lot of four thousand dollar items, he can pay a lot of. Operations budget. And to be honest with you, I don't think this is going to be an issue at the town. When it comes to town water and, and, and the quality, I don't think it's going to be an issue at the town. It may be, but I don't think it will. Yeah, it'll just change. So I don't think it's something that needs our reinforcement. Yeah, truthfully, it'd be, it'd be the around. finance committee, instead of having you as a sponsor, the scoring it would be the finance committee and then yeah. they yeah. decide if they want to do it or not. Right. So, right. That's the way I yeah. think. All you do is, all you do, frankly, here is give club. Because you, what you're doing is you're making recommendations and your review of it gives some weight to it. But the finance committee will also have me. Yeah, I just, to be honest with you, I just don't know that. Well, I, why don't as we... As far as whatever uh, you're why don't that, we, I don't recommendation agree. capital, I just don't think that's... Why don't we pass on this and leave it to the yeah. finance committee? That's fine. I'm, yeah. not, I, I'm okay with that. Uh, you know? Yeah. I mean, it's not like we're leaving them out in the cold here. This. Yeah, hey, the finance committee can still do this. This is not, and I get what you're in because you don't know the cap of your equipment. Yeah. I get the, I mean, that's my, that's my problem. I don't know what, I can't say to you we're buying a pump or a piece of equipment. I can't tell you that. So I, okay. I understand why that would be an issue. I want to, first of all, I want to thank you guys. I appreciate it. And I, I really, truthfully, I'm really happy with the working relationship that we've been able to talk about things. And I'm trying to, if you notice, I'm trying to keep you in the loop of things that you may not even have to deal with. Yeah. But again, if you have questions you want to talk about more detail, we'll, we'll get you quotes or whatever the hell we got to do okay. to make you guys feel comfortable. And we, we spent a lot of time to be prepared for tonight. So. Right. Well, well, the big stuff comes tonight. from the three big ones. You know, fire, DPW, and, and, and water, so sewer, I, and uh, And I go back to the big question that we have to figure out is, is what do we want to do for a borrowing? Because we've got some real big items. I mean, schools are going to clearly have the issue of the parking lots, and that's over a million dollars, Joe. So that loan is big money. And then well, you got siding on the senior center, windows and siding on both the library and the community center. They're all shot completely. Um, we're we don't hope this the state comes through with some of that pavement. Well, hopefully we get the pavement, but that would be nice if we do. But now, that's a state approach change. in the district on any of the paving issues there. Or no, all they said, the all that happened to I got a call and said, we have this money for infrastructure. Do you have some kind of infrastructure plan I can give to them? That was all I got. So I just developed, I used the payment so, plan to joke and figure it out on the square footage and the size of parking lots. But all so that's for, for town parking lots. That's for just school. no school so, well, I, I'm just curious if, if Kim made that same phone call to the school district. I don't know. Yeah. Well, they were going to give you a report, right? Yeah. The school system can. A capital know. report. So well, they say, no, they're going to give you a capital report. Oh, okay. So the way, the way it was told to me by Dan D. Yeah. Is that sometime in November they were going to provide to you their capital improvement plan. Right. Which that's what he told me. So in November we need to make sure they come and present that to you. And I will say this to you. They have one issue that might become a big issue. They have a problem with their fire alarm systems over there. Mm -hmm. And they have to replace the fire alarm systems. And the requirement under the state, under our agreement is anything over $35,000 capital cost the town has to pay for it. And they have to give it estimates for it. The chief has been working with them to try to get those numbers down, but we suspect that that fire alarm system for the three schools is going to be well above thirty. And that's those are that just is, those are problems just in Rutland, not in the other districts, or is it a, in the other communities? I don't know. Mm. I don't know. I know that the chief was working with the superintendent for our schools, and and because the schools were concerned that if the alarm didn't work, that that Seth was going to tell them they had to close the buildings. So that's why Seth was directly involved in it. But mm. it has to do. All I can tell you is it has to do with a panel. That is way outdated, and the company is very hard to service it because it's so old. This sounds like what the library had yeah, two years ago. I, I don't want to stop, but I'd like to close the meeting. So I like to too, it's been a long so, day. Yeah. Uh, 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 make um, closing. Where? Are we? What time is it? Eight eleven. Eight eleven. Make a motion to adjourn. Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll second that motion. Okay. I'll second that motion. <laughs> yeah. If you guys want to talk further. Uh,
Aye. Aye. You want to talk further about buying packages, things like that? Please give me a call. I'm happy to.